Hey everyone, episode 5 here. So as you've probably already heard, Minecraft has made the change from alpha to beta, which actually means very little at the moment. Uh, a lot of people were upset with the recent patch, but I myself absolutely love it. And that is because Notch has fixed the tree issue. Saplings once again fall from trees which is awesome. I've been waiting for that for a very long time now. And I had a lot of fun in my other world. I ran around and collected 261 saplings before they disappeared. It was a lot of fun. Oh yeah, I forgot about this guy. Mm -hmm. I want to... A lot of people have said you can put water in here to kill them too. I'm not sure if it actually works. He seems fine to me. Oh, there we go. Dun, 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 dun. Not so tough anymore. So I guess it does work, but lava works also. Um, so this episode, I think we're going to be working on the road again. And the dispenser and everything. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, I am going to move this easy loader. Because I'm going to be working on the road there. I'm going to put the easy loader over here. That way I can work on the return area here. So it's going to go here. Water down and the sign. Uh, you need to use a sign, you can't use a ladder for this uh, because signs have no collision mask while ladders do. So if you use a ladder, the boat's gonna run into it and then stop. Uh, I'm open this up again. Oops. All right. So this easy loader will still work here because it'll make the bull, the boat, uh, hit this wall here, which is what we need. We need the boat snug against this wall so that when it enters the elevator here, it's going to hit uh, this wall here. And that's going to be snug against this wall, which is important. This area here has a problem still. I'm going to have to probably change it. So in my road system, the boat is always snug against the right side. And same for on the other lane. Which means doors need to be placed on the left side, like the, the hinge here needs to be on the left, so that boats can still pass through. If this uh, door... Uh, was over like that, the boat would run into it and then stop. Because the door hinge is over here. With the doors, you don't need to place them too high if you don't want. I kind of like how it looks when you 
place them in a hole like this. Oops. The door needs to be the other way. So that we have the three three block area only. And like I said, this pressure pad's gonna open up this door when you hop on it. Once it's wired. Um I'm going to harvest some wood so that we can make some ladders and get started on the road. So I'll be back in a sec. Alright, we're back. Uh, I didn't stay out too long because it got pretty crazy pretty fast. Uh, I made some doors already and uh, some ladders. I got some smooth stone picking. So we're going to work on the return here. I think um, I'm going to put a door here. Oh. Need the hinge on the other side. So we'll place the block next to it. Now it opens the right way. And we'll put a pressure plate here. So, by, t by default, we're going to have this door open. And then when a boat comes down here, it's going to hit this pressure plate, and this is quickly going to close and stop the boat. And then the player is going to get off the boat, either here, or I'll make a doorway here. And when they get off the, do the boat, the door will open. And they'll go down here and back into the dispenser. And I'm going to add another door. I think over here. So this pressure plate's going to close, open and close both doors. It's going to be hooked, hooked to both of them. So if a guy is waiting here, another guy can come down the system and safely wait here without crashing into the other boat until he gets out. Hopefully. Um, I'm going to lower these two. having that problem, you'll have to destroy this block so that there's nothing next to the left side of the door. And then replace the block with something else. Just like that. And I think there's going to be a water stream here. Um, I'm going to have to play around with this a bit. Hmm. I'm going to replace this with a normal block. Oh wait, no, I can't. Hmm. All right. I'll ignore that for a moment. So, how to do this?
Um, I'm gonna play around with this a bit off camera, and then I'll show you what I figure out. So I ended up moving this easy loader one block up, and uh, the only reason I have this in my system right now is to make testing easier. Um, I'll be getting rid of it eventually. Um, so this return system, I'm gonna try and make it eight blocks long, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then the road section is gonna start here. And I'll place a stream here. And I'll make a sign. Get some more water. And we're going to place this stream here. Place another sign. Um, maybe another sign there. Alright, I'm hoping that will work. Um, I am going to place some ladders and then we're going to test this out. Not quite sure where I'm supposed to put them. But we'll try that for now. And we're going to make some more pressure plates. I'm going to be using pressure plates instead of signs just for convenience. But you can use whatever you want. And we make our road sections the water three blocks long. If you want a better example of how to build these roads, uh, check out this link here. And it will show a tutorial of it. And then we're going to do one more section. And then I am going to build an easy loader for testing. Yep. And what I want to see mainly is that uh, the pressure plate gets pressed when I'm on the boat. Because if it doesn't, I gotta redo this all. And I'm gonna get some glass. Make a boat. I'll probably have to go get some more wood. We need to sandwich this easy loader down. Um, that should work. So I'm going to place the boat in the middle. Hop on. Uh, we're going to open this door. And I want to see if this gets pressed. Yep, that's good. Perfect. So this will work. So, 
Now that we know that, we know we can start the road here. And keep things consistent. Place that there. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 that's wrong. Water needs to go the other way. Started at the same place. Okay. I think we got this working pretty good now. Yep, that looks good. on extending this. I'll see you back in a bit. Okay, we're back. Uh, as you can see, I extended the road up to where we had dug and filled in all the water and the ladders and torches and everything. Again, you can check out my uh, other uh, Eats tutorials on how to build these road sections if you need to know. And I just put a bend in the end here because we're just going to be testing this and later I'll get rid of that and make it go all the way to the island so we're just going to finish up the last few touches here and then we're going to take it for a test drive I haven't tested it yet so you'll see with me if it works or not Okay, so we're going to make a few boats. I go through a lot of wood making boats. Okay, now we're going to put them in the easy loader. And it works, good. up in the corner there. Oh, left the door open. I hope that bend works. Yeah, it did. Good. And then the player would get off the boat. Door would open. Goes back down. And all is good again. So we're going to close this and we're going to go for our first test drive. You ready? Here we go. Oh yeah. I won't be doing the, the redstone yet. I'll do it later when I get some. boats following us. Aw, 
Awesome. So, that's how it would work. Player would get off, both doors would open, and this one would close again if there's a player on it. They'd get up. The next player would get off, it would open, and around and around she goes. So at the end of this road, I'm going to build another section like this, and it'll form a loop. And it should be good. So I'm going to end that episode here. And next episode, we'll probably go look for some redstone or something like that. So, bye for now.